All right, brother, run, run, run. Start it, start it, let's go. That came out really good. All right. uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the video. I know it's been a little while, probably like actually a month. Today, me and Cam, we're just going to like a little cars and coffee sort of thing. It's actually a chemical guy's meeting. It should be, should be pretty chill. We're gonna meet our buddy, Jake, our other buddy, whose name is Jacob, ironically enough. Uh, and then we're gonna kind of just cruise on from there. I like your blow-off, Bob. I don't. I don't think it sounds terrible. We're gonna go change it later. I know, what you, I know what you mean by the little. Meow. <laughs> nah, my dad. This is my dad. Uh, It sounds like a chicken dying. Over, over the bone. Over the bone. It sounds, it sounds like, like if a cat were to sneeze. First off, I really want to say thank you for 400 plus subscribers, it means a lot to me. The next goal is for 500, hopefully a thousand soon. Um, and I appreciate you guys for sticking through with all the, you know, lack of content and everything. But we are working through it. I wanted to kind of just update you guys like thoroughly and let you know what's going on. So obviously, the motor has been out for quite some time. She's looking pretty abandoned over here, I'm not going to lie. But while the motor has been out, we have obviously changed the entire short block. We have now a new 2.0 short block that was actually meant for Cameron's car. Um, and upon looking at it, we've noticed that it has the NA water pump, so no oil cooler, which apparently gets deleted on most of these cars anyways. The reason that this motor actually ended up failing on us was the passenger side intake cam wasn't tightened down all the way, and so it ended up shaking. And while it was shaking, obviously the belt's moving in and out, it ended up getting caught under one of the pulleys and that's how it ended up getting eaten the way that it did. So realistically speaking, the only thing holding us back now is just grabbing a set of cam gears, getting the timing kit on there, and then we can get it back here to the car, we can get it put in, and then really it's just all about getting a tune after that. Super close to being mobile again. It's just been a bit of a struggle because I've been working on a ton of other things. Uh, me and my wife just got an apartment together, so we've been a little down on, on fundages, trying to make sure we're good there. I appreciate you guys for sticking through and um, you know liking the content, sharing it, all that fun stuff. It means a lot to me. Also snagged a pair of side skirts to put on, but then realized that because I hit that fence a while ago, the rocker panel actually is pushed in. If you guys can see, the front's good, but towards the middle, towards the rear, where I actually ended up making contact, um, it's kind of pushed in a little bit, so those clips aren't really aren't really holding. It's only really held on by the bottom clips, and that's it. But while the motor is out, I'm gonna try to do some suspension stuff. I'm trying to get myself a pair of ISC coilovers so I can throw those on for winter time. I'm trying to get a set of winter beater wheels so that I'm not abusing these 
and um, I'm gonna try to get that rear sway bar in finally because I have access to a lift and everything. So try to get some things done while the car is immobile so that when I am mobile again, it'll feel great. That was really all I had to share with you guys though. I hope you enjoyed the little car show at the beginning of the video. It's from a couple days ago, but I figured it would be nice to link it into this video so you had a full length video for once. Um, side note, I am also working on getting a daily driver just so that I can work on this more thoroughly and have it be my actual project car. Um, I love it to death, I love driving it every day, but I'm now realizing the hard way that it is not a good idea to build your daily driver. I appreciate all of you guys for watching, I appreciate all of you guys for subscribing and supporting me. Um, we are literally one step away from being able to have a fun car again, and hopefully it doesn't have to come back out for a while because this has been a whole roller coaster of stuff, man. Peace out, and I will see you guys in the next video.